Inticapone and tolcapone are drugs used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. They act to increase the availability of L-DOPA, a precursor to dopamine in the brain. This increase in dopamine then helps stimulate motor control of body movements. In this video, I'll share with you my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information you need to know about Inticapone and Tolcapone for test day. It looks like a busy day at this Italian coffee drive through And a busy day means lots of cappuccinos. Yep, this drive through specializes in cappuccinos, as evidenced by the cappuccino on that sign. Well, let cappuccino remind us of the drug ending capone and the drugs Inticapone and Tolcapone. Inticapone and Tolcapone are drugs used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. They act to increase the availability of L-DOPA, a precursor to dopamine in the brain. We'll talk more about their mechanisms later, but for now, try to remember cappuccino for the suffix capone in Inticapone and Tolcapone. It looks like this old man has pulled up in his walker to the drive through window to get his favorite morning coffee. He really needs his daily cup because he ordered a very tall cappuccino. Let this tall cappuccino remind us of Tolcapone. Get it? Because tall cappuccino sounds a lot like tall capone. And notice how this cashier's arm is crossing the window to deliver the tall cappuccino? This crossing of a window should make us think of crossing the blood-brain barrier. This is because Tolcapone can cross the blood-brain barrier and act centrally in the brain. We'll talk about why this is important later in this video. Next, let's explore the rest of this drive through Since this is a drive through it makes sense that there is a large enter sign so people don't drive up the wrong way. You know, since every drive through has an enter sign. Speaking of, let this enter sign for cappuccinos remind us of Inticapone. Get it? Because enter sounds like Inta Capone. Next, note that this enter sign does not cross the drive through window. Yep, these enter signs always stay outside the building to direct the drive through This picture should remind you how Inticapone cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. That is, it is a drug that works peripherally, or outside the brain only. So, in contrast to Tolcapone, which can get inside the brain, Inticapone cannot get into the brain. Should be pretty easy to remember if you can picture our scene here. It looks like this old man rolling up in his walker to the drive through window might have slowed things down a bit. I mean, just take a look at that guy in the car behind him. This guy in his fancy suit and briefcase looks like he's headed off to work. In other words, he's on his morning commute. And by the look of it, he seems to be running late. By the way, this guy's commute should remind us of the enzyme COMT. Get it? Because COMT stands for commute, right? Well, actually, COMT stands for catecholomethyltransferase. And this guy's commute is being inhibited or blocked by our old man here, which should remind you that Inticapone and Tolcapone work by inhibiting or blocking COMT. You see, COMT is one of several enzymes that degrades catecholamines like dopamine. In particular, COMT can also degrade drugs like levodopa, which is itself a precursor to dopamine. By inhibiting COMT, drugs like Inticapone and Tolcapone prevent the breakdown of both dopamine and levodopa. As we covered earlier, Inticapone works peripherally only, so it basically works to prevent levodopa breakdown in the peripheral circulation. In contrast, Tolcapone works both peripherally and centrally to prevent levodopa breakdown. Preventing levodopa breakdown allows more of it to be converted into dopamine. This increased concentration of dopamine is obviously useful for treating diseases like Parkinson's disease. On the note of Parkinson's disease, let's swivel to our old gentleman's walker. As he rolls up to the drive through the walker rattles a little on the asphalt. By the way, let this rattling walker be our symbol for Parkinson's disease since patients with Parkinson's disease often have rattling or tremors, as well as gait instability. Inticapone and Tolcapone can be used to treat Parkinson's disease by restoring dopamine signaling in the brain. You see, Parkinson's results from a loss of dopamine signaling after damage to dopamine-producing neurons in the brain. And as it happens, dopamine is crucial for coordinating the body's movements via the basal ganglia. So a loss of dopamine leads to the abnormal muscle movements and tremors seen in Parkinson's. 
By increasing the availability of levodopa in the brain, intacapone and tolcapone increase conversion of levodopa to dopamine, thereby helping to treat Parkinson's. Clinically, intacapone and tolcapone are only effective when used together with levodopa. Just picture this rattling walker to remember that intacapone and tolcapone are used to treat Parkinson's disease. Now that we've covered the clinical use of intacapone and tolcapone, let's switch gears and talk about adverse effects to look out for. By the way, did you guys notice the lever of the cash register? Yep, since all cash registers have levers to open the cash drawer, right? The lever handle kind of resembles a liver, right? You bet that this is our recurring liver lever representing hepatotoxicity. Next, you might notice that this liver lever only affects our employee passing along the tall cappuccino. This is all here to help you remember that an adverse of taking tolcapone and not intacapone is hepatotoxicity. Hepatotoxicity resulting from tolcapone varies in severity from asymptomatic liver enzyme elevations to severe liver injury with jaundice, hepatic synthetic dysfunction, coma, and even death. Just know that you should be monitoring liver function enzymes in any patient taking tolcapone. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's time for me to grab a cappuccino myself. Let's wrap up and get out of here. Intacapone and tolcapone are drugs used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. They inhibit the enzyme COM-T to increase the availability of levodopa, or L-dopa, a precursor to dopamine in the brain. Importantly, intacapone cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, so it only works peripherally. In contrast, tolcapone can cross the blood-brain barrier, so it works both peripherally and centrally to increase levodopa availability. This increase in levodopa concentrations in turn increases dopamine levels, which helps to treat Parkinson's disease. Know that intacapone and tolcapone must be used in conjunction with levodopa in order to be effective. A major side effect of tolcapone that is not seen with intacapone is hepatotoxicity. All right, we're done here. I need a cappuccino ASAP. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.